one year into the pandemic, the health department says that the government has improved a lot in terms of COVID-19 response. That's despite the ongoing surge of COVID-19 cases in the country. To give us updates on the existing measures to address the spike in cases, Greg Gregorio is joining us live from Mandaluyong. Uh, Greg, good afternoon. Could you tell us the reasons cited by the DOH to justify that their COVID-19 response in the country has indeed improved? Yes, Charles, good afternoon. Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Verjera cited, for example, the testing capacity in the Philippines. If we remember back in uh, uh, March 2020 or at the start of the pandemic, we only had one COVID-19 laboratory, which is the uh, Research Institute for Tropical Medicine or the RITM. But over a year, we now have more than 200 COVID-19 testing laboratories across the country. Apart from that, Verjera said, we have formulated or we established the one hospital command system to ensure that no hospital, uh, uh, no hospital, or no healthcare facility will be overwhelmed uh, in relation to the uh, increasing cases of COVID-19. In this way, those uh, individuals with uh, moderate and severe infections will only be the ones that will be admitted or who will be admitted in the hospitals, while those who are asymptomatic and uh, experiencing mild infection will be admitted at uh, the temporary treatment and monitoring facilities. And despite the uh, uh, more than 607,000 COVID-19 cases recorded so far, but had said, it seems like the health uh, care workers in the Philippines are now more familiar with how would they uh, treat this COVID-19 uh, patients. Because if we are to look at the statistics, the case fatality rate in the country or the number of individuals dying because of COVID-19 is just around 2%. Charles? Yes, and we are hearing that the vaccination is our best weapon against COVID-19 at this point. But then could you tell us how many people have been actually vaccinated as of today? And among them, uh, how many experienced adverse reactions? And were any of them serious? Yes, Charles, uh, DOH said vaccination or the vaccines is one of our uh, um, weapons against the pandemic. As of the, the latest report of the Department of Health, there are about 113,000 individuals who have been uh, vaccinated against COVID-19. Um, most of these individuals have been vaccinated with Sinovac's CoronaVac, while about 12,000 have been vaccinated with AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine. From the total of 113,000, about 978 adverse events have been recorded. But uh, Undersecretary Verjera said most of these are common and mild, which includes the pain in the injection area, headache, and fever, while there are 21 serious events uh, that have been recorded. Uh, Verjera said this includes those individuals who experienced uh, difficulty in breathing, but Verjera highlighted that, non, that investigation is still ongoing and none of this uh, have been, um, um, uh, have been uh, identified as uh, indeed because of the COVID-19 vaccine. Charles? Greg, Greg, uh, one of the news items that we reported earlier today was the suspension of the use of AstraZeneca in certain European countries. Did the DOH have something to say about this, uh, especially uh, as regards the fear of blood clotting? Yes, Charles, according to uh, Undersecretary Verjere, there is this statement from the European Medical Association that this incident of blood clot is not, uh, uh, is not uh, really uh, directly related to the COVID-19 vaccine. Thus, our local health experts here are also saying that there is no reason for to stop the use of AstraZeneca's vaccines in our uh, vaccine rollout. And uh, they are also saying that uh, uh, the benefit of having this vaccine still outweigh the uh, risk that has been uh, recorded in other countries. Charles? All right, so Greg, AstraZeneca still very much a go, but then uh, can we talk about what is the reason, the main reason for the spike of cases in the country according to authorities? Charles, according to Verjere, the uh, increasing number of cases in the country is still primarily because of the non-compliance to the minimum public health standards of the public. But, of course, it is driven uh, by the uh, detected variants in various cities 
uh, in the country. With this, uh, the Department of Health is so saying that compliance to minimum public health standards would still help us avoid the transmission and further increasing the number of COVID-19 infection in the Philippines.